What do you think most people get wrong about motivation? They think it's a permanent fix. They think it's something that is a constant. They think that maybe once I get it, I'm going to hold on to it. Nothing is permanent. So 5% of the people that say, that's it, I'm not smoking again, despite cancer diagnosis, I'm not smoking again, despite the fear of the negative health effects, I'm not going to ever smoke again, despite the financial cost, the uh, health cost. I mean, I could list off the, a huge number of things that it does that are negative, but you already know these or you've heard them. Nothing is permanent. And a lot of times you have to learn to perform without motivation. You have to learn to perform without purpose. You have to learn to perform a lot of different things. And that's what people think. They think I need to have this motivation to work out, to study, to be better. So if they don't have it, they just don't do it. Um, that younger people are smoking, that women are smoking more nowadays, and that even though you see less smoking typically in the U.S. and Canada, and even in Northern Europe some places, that still many, many people are smoking who would like to quit. You have to learn to train your mind well beyond motivation. If you have motivation, that's great. That's some kindling to the fire. All it takes is a little bit of a spark and you can burn the whole forest up. But motivation, you have to learn to exist without it. You have to be your best self when you're least motivated. It's just say, that's it, I'm not gonna smoke again or I'm not gonna vape again. Only 5% of people succeed in doing that. And even among those, many end up relapsing later. And that's the tricky part about all that. Motivation is just a word. You have to have these different things in your mind on where you wanna go and know that motivation is not gonna get you there. Vaping is actually harder to quit than cigarette smoking for most people. Does that mean that cigarette smoking is fairly easy to quit for most people? No. 70% of people who smoke cigarettes report that they would like to quit if they thought they could. The success rate of quitting smoking when people try to go just cold turkey, just quit with no assistance whatsoever, they might tell their family and friends, hey, I'm quitting, that's it, is exceedingly low. Motivation is... It's kind of a strange word because it doesn't really mean what we think it means. We think it means that we're fired up to do something. We think that it means we're eager and passionate to make something happen. And we think that somehow we should just be able to turn on that eagerness and turn on that passion. But we can't. Because you just can't turn on passion. You can't just turn Turn on the desire to execute a task. It just doesn't work that way. And honestly, that isn't even what motivate means. Motivate doesn't mean to yell and scream and encourage. No. To motivate actually means to provide a motive, a reason why. That using a specific form of hypnosis, people can achieve complete and total cessation of cigarette smoking, and there's no reason to believe this doesn't also carry over to vaping, through one single hypnosis session. And the success rates are incredibly high when one considers that normally it would be only a 5% success rate. The success rate with this particular hypnosis developed at Stanford School of Medicine by Dr. David Spiegel is 23% of people who do this hypnosis one time succeed in quitting smoking way, but in a benevolent way in order to help you get over smoking or vaping by keeping the total amounts of dopamine variable around the clock and by changing the amount of dopamine that's released, it seems to help people behaviorally and psychologically because they don't come to expect having a particular amount of dopamine in their brain and blood at any given time. One day I will have my victory Crush all my enemies so viciously Work so hard my hands are blistering And they will carve my name